Hello boys and girls, this is Glenn here again with another Rope Rage video. In this video we're going to learn how to do lunges with your jump rope. This is a technique I've been working on as a follow on from the Tyson squat, um, incorporating the same movements but turning it up a notch, turning the heat up slightly. I like to call it the leg burn and if that sounds a bit scary, that's because it is. <laughs> Perhaps I should shut my gob and demonstrate first and then we're going to talk about how you can do this explosive technique. boys and girls this is Glenn here again with another rope rage video um, it's 6 45 p.m. on the 28th of June and that means that the England World Cup match is about 15 minutes away so this is gonna be a super quick tutorial for a super intense movement it's a very explosive movement I guarantee you you will feel the burn in your legs after doing this movement now this technique I actually started working on and developing as a follow on from the Tyson squat and funnily enough um, if you go and revisit that video on the Tyson squat you'll see that there are a lot of similarities so it might help to check that one out as well. The difference is clear, it's um, a lot tougher switching the feet, um, keeping coordinated with your side swings as well. So. Um, this is a slight step up from the Tyson squat. The Tyson squat is a, a tough technique in itself, um, but dare I say this is even tougher. So. very explosive technique you can imagine doing that 30 seconds on 30 seconds off for a few rounds will um, have you pretty worn out it's a really tough workout it's a high level workout something that more advanced jump ropers might want to incorporate into their regime or if you're not quite there yet something for you to work towards we're going to discuss how to do that um, it's because it's an explosive technique and not a static technique it pretty much calls on every muscle in your legs to spring upwards to switch the, your footing and to spring upwards again so there are a few elements to this technique but before you go into it you must be comfortable doing your side swings and so if you saw the previous video on how to do side swings the correct way um, great you should be set if you haven't uh, check that out. I'm going to pop that in one of these corners and that will go through step by step how to make your side swings smooth and how to go about it with the right technique. A few steps to this. First, as we always say on this channel, every single technique you must work on footwork initially before int introducing the rope. The reason for this is that when you have your footwork set and it's automatic, you only have to bother yourself um, thinking about what you're going to do with your rope and how you're going to swing it and the timing of your swings. So to work on our explosive split lunges, um, as a progression what you might want to do first is work on stutter lunges. Before getting to the fully explosive lunges you might want to work on stuttered lunges split lunges um, that looks a bit like this 
So with your stuttered lunges, as you can see, you're stopping halfway between that transition and then going into the next one. The reason for doing that is to just maintain your balance. With that stutter in between, you're able to set yourself and make sure you're not wavering or falling over before going into the next step. Once you've done that for a while and you're comfortable and you're stable and balanced, go ahead and go into the full explosive switch of your lunge. Um, I'd say as a benchmark, you wanna be able to do 10 to 15 of these switch lunges without wavering too much. Then I'd say you're pretty much ready to get the rope involved and work on those transitions. So, involving the rope is pretty much the same as a Tyson squat, right? You jump into the rope, of course, while the rope is open, and then when you're side swinging your rope, you're down in your lunge. Okay, so when you introduce the rope, start with the stutter lunges before going into the full explosive lunge. Now you can do this technique um, coming out of your side swings on one side, your stronger side presumably, but the principle with rope rage has always been balance. So I highly encourage working on side swinging out to the right and to the left with each lunge up. Okay, you don't want to get too um, you don't want to get too one-sided and end up doing it on just one side. You want to be able to switch it from right to left and right to left and so on. Um, this just makes you a better all-round athlete. You're working on both hemispheres of the brain at the same time. You're not boxing yourself into just strengthening one side of the body um, and you're also learning you're learning the technique in greater depth if you can get that weaker hand to do the same technique that the stronger hand does you understand your techniques in uh, better detail and of course once you've done that for a while go into the full-blown explosive split lunge switching feet on each rep. Most people they'd be comfortable just side swinging on one side their right hand side if they're right-handed vice versa if you're left-handed but really with the rope rage style as a bonus you're highly encouraged to work on both sides it's balance side swing out to the right there's no reason why you shouldn't side, be able to side swing out to the left with practice and with focus I'm, I'm not ambidextrous I'm right-handed um, but with training and with focus my left hand while using a jump rope is pretty much as strong as my right going through this jump getting down into that squat you're engaging the glutes the hamstrings the quadriceps um, but with the split and with the explosive jump upwards you're also engaging your calf and the lower leg muscles even the muscles in the feet as you land each time your muscles are engaged and as you spring off the ground the same so this really is an all-round leg burner what is that is that sweat you see that that's sweat right there that's real work it's real hard work feel free to try that at home go through the steps don't forget the basics don't forget your stutter lunges um, and then going into the explosive lunges without the rope before then introducing the rope going with the stutter lunges again and then doing the explosive lunges okay there's no rush slow and steady wins that race okay i think that's it um, go through those steps slowly feel free to go over the side swing video earlier in the series and also the tyson squat video which will be great introductions into how to go onto this uh, technique here this technique is a development of those two more fundamental techniques so do that also I highly recommend that and let me know how you get on down in the comments it's always cool to have a chat with you guys I look forward to it if you found this video helpful of course hit that like button 
if you want to see more of these tutorials of course hit the subscribe button so that's it from me until next time all the best with your training and stay raging